Welcome to my Cisco Routing Intentional Review. Today we're looking at Lab 93211, Configuring Extended ACLs Scenario 2. So I've already loaded it up. I'm looking at Part 1. So the goal here is to telnet traffic from devices. So we want to verify that we can telnet, that we can uh, ICMP or ping, and all of the traffic is blocked. So let's go ahead. I'm looking at PC A and B. So let's go ahead and try to ping, uh, ping P, uh, RTA. I'm just going to pick one of the interfaces. And it works. I'm going to ping gigabit 0, 1. And it works. I want to ping gigabit 0, 2. And it works. So we're good with the ICMP. Let's telnet that to one of the appropriate interfaces, 101, 117.1. And that at least prompts me for a password, so that's right. So we've done part one that we verified. So now let's go ahead and let's configure the appropriate ACLs. So hop on RTA, get to our command prompt, get into global config mode. So the last extended um, is 199. So we are doing an access list, 199. We are looking at, use the last extended, follow the appropriate steps. So I'm going to assume permit. We're doing port TCP. Source is gonna be 32. Next is the wildcard mask. So if we are looking at 240, there are 15 bits remaining to get to 255. Or what you can do is take 240, convert it to binary, 1111. So that's the Subnet would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is two five five two five five two five five dot two forty. So that means the wildcard mask would be that. Because again, all we're doing is taking the ones, converting them to zeros, taking the zeros, converting them to ones. That's our wildcard mask. Destination network, 10.101.117. If we are doing a slash 224, that would be the appropriate subnet mask, which would be Thirty one, one twenty eight, sixty four, thirty two, all of those will equal thirty one. So the wildcard mask here is thirty one. We want it equal to It should be Telnet. Permit TCP. That should be the source IP. Sometimes I don't like Packet Tracer. 
destination network. Even though that is the appropriate destination address. All right, let's try that one more time. Access this 199, permit TCP, the appropriate IP address, the appropriate wildcard mask. For whatever reason, oh, that's because for this network, I only did three of the four octets. You have to do the dot zero. Got to be careful with fat fingering ACLs. And there we go. That is our appropriate ACL. So now that is that one. Now ICMP traffic is allowed to the appropriate second ACL. Access list 199, permit. ICMP, we can use the word any source, any destination, and that's the appropriate one for that. Again, there's the implicit deny, so all other uh, IP traffic is denied. We're going to be applying this to the appropriate interface, so interface gig 0 slash 2. It will be IP access group 199. And we want it to process it as it goes out. And that's it. Let's go ahead and do some verification. So from PC being, let's go ahead and ping the appropriate switch. So I'm going to do these steps right here. So ping the appropriate switch, 101.117.2. First one should time out. All right, let's do it again. So it is processing ICMP. Next, let's telnet to it. We're getting a password, so that works. We want to ping from PCA. We want to ping again all other IP addresses. So it still allows us to access the 149 network. It still allows, ex, uh, allows us to access 33. Because again, the ACL is here on the outbound. So let's go ahead and ping PCB. Okay, so everything does work because we did allow ICMP. So the ICMP as leaves RTA gigabit zero one. Sorry, I believe we applied it to zero two. So that way, as it's actually going out, we allowed Telnet and we allowed ICMP. So ping should work. So we've done that step. Now we're going to go ahead and do telnet from PCA to switch C and telnet from PCA to switch B. So we also then want to do this last one. So we're going to log in to switch B and from there telnet to switch C. 
just for simplicity, we're going to go ahead and just scroll back up. So telnet from PCA to switch seeing 10.101.117.2. And it should not let us do it. Let's telnet to switch being. Though it's really funny is they never gave us the IP address of switch being. This one is 117.34. And this one should allow us in. Okay, so I found an anomaly with this slab. One of the fun parts is you can ping PCB from PCA. You can ping the interface from Gigabit01 from PCA. You cannot, however, ping the switch. And this packet tracer is locked, so I can't configure anything on switch B. I can't tell that to it because it's not even responding. It's processing traffic, but that's really it. So with that said, you cannot complete these two steps. So let's assume that we could complete those two steps. I want to go from PCB and try to tell that the switch. And I can. The interesting thing is On gigabit zero one and gigabit zero zero, there is no ACL. There is nothing to prevent traffic flow from A to B. So why can I not even ping it? There could be an ACL on switch B but that's outside the scope of this lab. So first you can use PCA to tell them that the switch B if it's allowing, and then from switch B, you can tell them that to switch C because switch C is blocking traffic from this network. Access list, so I'm answering the question for this. What could have been done to prevent PCA from accessing switch C indirectly while allowing PCB to telnet. Again, you can uh, write the ACL in such a way to deny tar uh, telnet traffic from specific networks. So it just kind of depends on how you want to do it. All right, that's this lab in a nutshell. I want to thank you. Uh, before I forget, here's the activity results. Everything is 100%, even though there is that error in part F and G of step three and step one. So, sorry, part one, step three, subsection F and G, and that was PCA to switch B and switch B to switch C. Okay, with that said, everything else worked.